alone. Are you sad? Are you sad that it's 12 days of Christmas, the end? Some of you may be completely relieved that you no longer have to think, oh goodness, it's 11 o'clock, I must get there. But others of you might be a bit sad. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed doing this for you. I can't believe that there's also many things that I still would like to have shown you and probably will squeeze a few more in in the last few days of November um, on the lives that we'll be doing on the Wednesdays and Sundays. So there may still be Christmassy things, even though I promised that Christmas would be over after the 12 days. But there were still things I needed to show you. So I'm going to finish with this one which is a mixture of all sorts now. Um, I'm going to be using the Church Scenes, which was the set that came out this year. I'm actually only going to be using the church and the village itself, not the trees. I'm going to be using the Snow Embossing Folder, which we've had earlier this week. Um, I've got my nesting dies, my plain nesting dies from Prescott's. And I've got my Funky Stars which are here. And this one is my Merry Christmas die. So it's a combination of all sorts of things, some of which you may already have and you may want to use something similar that you have. You may have a similar embossing folder or something like that. But I'm just going to show you a really crisp and simple card, but one I think that really looks quite attractive. OK, so let's give it a go. To start off with, you'll need your sunglasses on because to start off with, hiding under here, I've got the mirror card. You know what it's like. It's going to blind you. So I'm going to take my largest square here to start off with and I'm going to very carefully and quickly so that you're not blinded. Tape that onto there and then cut that through so that you're not blinded too much. And then I'm just going to run that through my machine. And as I say, hopefully you won't be blinded for too long. So that's my largest, well, it's not my largest, completely largest size, but it is my largest bit there, okay? Crunch, crunch, groan. I've got a new machine. And it's taking some getting used to, as they say. <laughs> so let me just bring this one in. It seems to be for 10 times slower than the other one. But um, there we cut that out beautifully. So I'm going to hold it that way so that you don't have to look at all the, the bright brightness. OK, so take that off. So then I'm going to take my next size of dies down. Pop that one back there. So I'm going to take my next size down and then I'm going to cut that from white card. So that's just my ordinary white card, nothing special and just tape that into position and cut that one out. And I'm making a frame at the moment, as if you didn't guess. Crunch grown. So I've already chosen these two because I want, as you can see, a really wide frame. So we just pop these through. believe we've been sitting here for 12 days well I hope you've moved in the meantime but yeah it's gone so quickly and all sorts of different ideas coming your way but, uh, hopefully you've liked well I know you've liked some of them so that's really good so I'm going to pop that in there so that it doesn't blind you and knowing that that's then got to have a little border all the way around I can then place my um, smaller die into the centre 
actually I don't need to do that just yet. I can place my smaller die into the centre and get myself a roughly, if I can, piece in the middle that is pretty much about right. And then just pop that on and cut that one out. So that is giving me, whoops, I'm going to pick it up, this nice frame all the way around. Pop that in my machine. So which has been your favourite card? Which have you preferred out of all of them? I can't decide which my favourite card is. I've really enjoyed doing the Poinsettias. All different ways of doing the Poinsettias. I have loved those. Um, I like the penguins. I love the house idea. That was nice and different. But hopefully you'll have a favourite. And I will be doing a showcase of them later on so that we can sort of maybe even take a poll of the ones that we liked the best so just keep my that's there now then we've got our very smallest one so I'm going to pop that back there and our very smallest one comes in now so I can put that one into there let's take that to one side you don't need to see that as well giving that little frame if I can all the way around try and get it even and then at the same time, pop my inner one and then tape that down. And then I can be pretty sure that I have got an even frame. So take that out all the way around. So I'm just going to run that through. Um, and we've got a little bit more to do with this one first so I'm not going to move that one it's going to be a really simple card but I think you'll find quite effective so yeah so we've got our gold uh, gold our silver frame to go behind like that now however we're not going to get away with it just now. We're going to take our white frame and I'm going to place my snowflakes, my sorry, my funky stars randomly. Now, some of them are going to go over the edge and some of them are not. And I'm going to take them all into position as I go around. Now, they should, to make it look the best, they do look better if you put all of your stars as if they are pointing upright. So you see what I mean? If I was to place that one that way around, so it's sort of got like a V, that's not quite right. We want them that way around. Okay, so we're just going to place them in random places. One more just down here, like so. Okay, and then I'm going to run that through my machine. A lot of time you're just sitting there watching me today. <laughs> so just pop that through. So that's with all of the snowflakes that are on there. Okay. And then, when that has come through, we will take that out, Oops. like that, and we will find, carefully, that we have got the space where that was. And this was done on purpose of having some of them off the corner there. Okay. And then down in that side, I'll just be a bit careful taking that off. And then 
this one. Oops. And then finally this one. Okay. Now then I'm going to just pop these little ones out. So I've got the snowflakes there as well. But I want to cut them out of silver glitter cards as well. So the idea being that we've got a variety of different snowflakes. Stars, funky stars, get right. They are not snowflakes, they are funky stars. Or whatever you'd like to call them really. Okay, so we'll just take all of them out of there. Get out when you're told. It must be a male one, I reckon, don't you? Not doing what it's told. So that's going to go onto there. So we can see that the silver card is showing through with that. So then I'm going to take a piece of my silver glitter card. And I'm going to pop my... Now, in this case, I don't need to worry about which way round they are because... They, I don't need the waste because basically I'm using the waste there. So I don't need the waste, I just need to cut them out. I'm just using the tape and just popping there all onto there. And just cut that through my machine. So that is just plain silver glitter card and I've also got these little ones which are waste left over. Okay, so there's all sorts that we can use all on the same theme here. Just popping this all the way through. Just checking before I take them off whether they have cut but they have and you only can see that really by going on the other side there so just check that they are all cut through so I'm just gonna push those through on that side taking the dies off in a minute so we've got all along the same idea of the silver in both the sparkly I'll deal with those in a second the sparkly and the ordinary silver all sorts. So I'm going to pop some glue onto this and pop these into position. I have to be a bit careful on these bits that we do get everywhere that there is. these little bits as well. If you think with just a frame you'd only need it on a frame wouldn't you but no in fact you need it everywhere. So bringing in my, oh, well, I'll move that all in one in a second. Bringing in my card and just popping that down there as well. So then I can then bring in my other um, stars and we can pop a few of these in as well. So with my stars, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue into the centre there. And again, I'm going in the same direction all the time and I'm going to randomly add my stars. So we've got, whoops, keeping them all in that same direction, don't forget. And I've also got, if we wished, if we had room, which I don't think we have, but I've also got my white stars there. So I could always pick up a couple of the white stars and put them in. So you've got a real mix mash of colours and ideas that you might want to choose to go in here. 
but just gives a random um, frame, which I think looks really quite nice. Trying not to put them in definite places, if you see what I mean. We need another one up there. But I'm going to have to chop it off in its prime. So I'm going to just chop off those pieces so that we've just got a little bit of one showing. OK, so you can see now that I've got this lovely frame going on. It gives me just a little bit of a different look with all of that glittering and whatever. And I have got these as well. Which we might, yeah, we might use those in a second. OK, I think we will actually. Well, at least one or two. So let's bring in our card. Now, our card base that we're going to use is a 7x7. Seven seven. So there's our 7x7 seven seven card base. And that little beauty is going to sit on top of there. However, I have already cheated very slightly because I've already used my snow embossing folder to cut out my background. And that is going to go directly onto my card front. Not putting any um, extra foam or anything on there. That is just going to go directly onto my card front, like so. And I have also already used my church scenes die and I've just cut out. So I'll just show you this. It's got no uh, end to it. OK, so I've just simply popped that onto a piece of card, put that in there and then run that through. And then that's how that comes out, which I think is really very, very effective. So we're going to have to sort of place this over here to see where we want our little scene to go. So I've just put it on some random card for the moment, but we might need a little bit of extra. So I want it to be sort of about there. I don't want it so that it's completely disappearing. I want it, hold on, that's it. I want it about halfway like that. So I think the best way to get that so that that is halfway is to, yeah, let's put the foam on first onto here because I want this to sort of set, set itself back a little bit. So I'm going to pop a bit of two mil foam onto the, I don't want that bit of blue on there, onto the underneath here. Okay, two mil foam onto that piece. And then I can be sure that I'm going to get that where I want, which is about there. So it's attached by the foam that is down the bottom. Okay, randomly like that. And then I'm going to get my three mil foam and I'm going to build up my frame so that it's going to sit up nice and um, proud. So this is three mil deep instead of the other one is just two mil. So it just gives it a little bit extra. Okay, because I want this to sort of sit up a bit. So just take these off. So this does give a really wide frame. It's, it's not like a frame that we would normally use, but I think it looks quite nice to have a wide frame. So that's what we're going for this time. Okay, whoops. I'm gonna pop a bit of glue onto here. Let's bring that up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'll bring in my card again. And then pop that over the top with hopefully an equal border. Hopefully. Sorry, I'm looking for something and can't see it. 
no, 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 no. Ignore me, ignore me, but only for a second. So you can see now that my church scene is sitting. Can you see that, that it's sitting upright because I've put the foam behind it, which I think is quite nice. And then I'm going to get my sentiments and I'm going to use the little piece that was left over from the middle here. And cut out my Merry Christmas from there. Just run that through my machine. And then I'm going to pop my Merry Christmas up here. But I'm thinking, what do you think? I'm thinking that some of these stars might look quite, mm, I don't know, I don't know. Um, just wondering whether those stars would look quite nice there. Or maybe even a silver star. Oh, yeah, what do you reckon? Oops. Oh, oh, oh. Just take my little pieces out there. that piece out there. Now I reckon that's going to look quite nice there and although I've put a white one there I'm not quite sure whether that needs to be a silver one or even a, a even um a sparkly one. Oh if only I could hear what you were saying. That's what I need isn't it? I need to hear what you're saying. I'm going to go with a sparkly. We might not do any of it, but I'm going to go with a sparkly because I don't know what you're saying to me. Hopefully you are shouting at me. No, don't do it at all. No, leave it. I don't know. Maybe I want both. Let's just have a look, shall we? I just think it looks a really simple one. Simple, almost on the sort of verging of a religious one, perhaps. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it's just my way of looking at it. Um, and I think that that's rather nice. <gasps> How could I tell? I've got the sparkly one out. What do you think? I don't know. I think it's got to be on there, to be honest with you. I think I like it. So I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue onto here and then recap. So I have used the Nelly Snellen background embossing folder with the snow. I have used the John Next Door church scenes, but I've only used the village church. I haven't used the trees and backgrounds that go with it. I have used the Creative Expressions mini sentiments, Merry Christmas. I have used the John Next Door funky stars. And I have also used the Prescott's nesting plain squares for my frame and then this uh, it's got to be there I'm afraid got to be there just as a light that main star showing down onto that so there you go there is our last card our 12th day of Christmas. I don't know whether you think it's your best card, but I just love it. I love the simplicity of it and I love the stars. I just, yeah, that is what Christmas is all about. Simple but stylish, eh? 
So I do hope that you have enjoyed watching at 11 every day for the last 12 days. Oh my goodness. Um, I will be back on Sundays at 11 and Wednesdays at 11. Most days, most weeks of the year, to be honest. But I will be back showing you all sorts of different ideas. A few more Christmassy ones between now and the end of November because I've just got to fit them in. They are just too good to let you not see them or to not let you see them. You know what I mean? Until that time. So I really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching and putting up with it all. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, please do comment and uh, hopefully we'll do it again next year, shall we? Take care then. Thanks. Bye.